Hey, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's quick WordPress video tips, we're going to change the text of 2014 child theme footer. So this is the site that uh, we will work with. As you can see, this is default footer text in WordPress. So we're going to change it. First step is make sure you have your child theme. So here I have my active theme as 2014 child theme. If you haven't created any 2014 child theme yet, so I strongly recommend that you create one. I also have one video uh, how to create 2014 child theme. Feel free to take a look. And then the next step is we're going to need FileZilla. Here it is. And we're going to uh, open FileZilla to access our file there and connect it. And just uh, for quick note, if you haven't had any FTP client like FileZilla or any FTP client, I strongly recommend that you also use one because it makes life easier. Check out my other tutorial how to configure FileZilla. Once we connect it, we will see that there are WordPress files here and we're going to need is uh, WP Test Content. Click on that and then go to Themes and then 2014 child. So this is my 2014 child theme folder going there. And it, as you can see, you might have different files or folders here, but mine is like this. And the next step is we're going to copy footer.php, the original of the parent theme 2014. I could also use from the local. So if you follow along my other tutorial, how to configure a FileZilla, you should have this in your left side. So you have the local folder of your WordPress site. But to make things easier, you might not have this right side local files. Um, what I'm going to do is log into my uh, admin. So you're going to WP this admin and then go to appearance and then editor. And make sure you select 2014, which is the parent theme, and hit select. And we look for footer.php. There it is. And we're going to click it to see the content of the files. And back in FileZilla, we're going to uh, right click here somewhere and then create new file. And we name it as footer.php. And hit OK. Now we select that file and then right click it, view or edit. And then here we're going to copy the whole um the whole content and go back to FileZilla again i mean to the text editor that we just open it so footer.php and then paste it here and we have now the original footer of 2014 parent theme inside our 2014 child theme hit save or command and s and then go back to our FileZilla again and upload it the updated file to our server back so this code is displaying this proudly powered by WordPress. So now if we go back again here and for some reason you want to change the whole uh, text to your site and copyright text for example. Let's um, uh, display the copyright. So hit enter and write under the div class site dash info code. We're going to display copyright. Let's say copyright and then copyright sign, which you can have as uh, HTML code with N sign and then copy and then um, smile colon and I will um, provide the code and then uh, echoing the year so you don't have to change the year every year. So for example, today is 20, um, 2014. So in 2015, you don't have to change the numbers because it will automatically uh, displaying the date or the year in the current year with this PHP code. So these brackets and then a uh, question sign and PHP and then echo and then date. And then uh, we pass the parameter, which is a year. So uh, this column and then and then uh, this Y letter the capital Y and then closing the PHP my colon and question mark and this bracket and then um, now if we save it and go back to FileZilla to update the file and now we're going to hit refresh and it says that copyright and the copyright sign and the year is displaying and the next step is you might want to um, to display your blog name so we go back to our text editor and here we're going to modify your 
footer.php. So go back again to the themes editor and go uh, here, make sure that it's 2014 parent theme, and then look for header.php. And then scroll down, and we're going to copy the code. So we look for the title, this one. So plug info name. So we're going to copy the whole code before site title uh, h1 class and before the closing h1 tag as well. Copy that and go back to your file editor and then here you want to display that right after 20, um, 2014 which is the year. So right after that so you can hit enter and then paste that here and then uh, hit save. And go back to our file zilla and update the file And when it's successfully uploaded, we go back to our site and refresh our blog and let's see what happened. And there it is. We have now blog name, which is blog web 6 demo, and we have link that it will um, go to our homepage. Say somebody visit your post and then uh, they go to footer and they see your blog name, they click again and they will be redirected to our homepage. And you might want to change the proudly powered by WordPress or or um, remove the whole code. So what you can do is you go to um, highlight this, so highlight this and pay, uh, delete it. And hit save and go back to our file again and uh, upload it, the updated file and then refresh our blog and now you have your uh, copyright text and the year and your blog name and the WordPress link is gone. And maybe for some reason you still want to display the WordPress link but uh, you want to modify the text so you're going to paste back paste it, uh, the previous code again and then maybe you want to change the text for example I'm going to delete this proudly powered by and then here I'm going to change for example like um, build in width and then wordpress.org and then hit save and go back to our filezilla and uh, update the file and here we're going to refresh it and as you can see now we have copyright and your blog and build in with wordpress it has link. So it depends on what customization you want to have. So that was the example how you can display or modify your uh, footer in 2014 child team. So thank you for watching guys and take care of yourself. Goodbye.